Have you ever liked um, vanilla? Do you like vanilla ice cream? Well, I do, but I actually never seen a vanilla uh, tree with my own eyes. So the, for the first time in my life, I actually went to a vanilla farm uh, in Reunion Island, which is also known for some of the best vanilla in the world. And you're looking at some of them. And it was quite overwhelming looking at all the process from the beginning till the end. Um, how they do, the amount of hard work they put into it, and how much money they make, which is not really much considering how much money we pay as a consumer. Um, quite, quite out of control, to be honest with you. And you normally don't do this kind of things uh, for passion. I'm telling you that right now. You're actually doing it for because your love for the product. And history of uh, vanilla in Reunion Island, it goes back to the you know, slave era. Uh, yes, we had slaves here too, which is quite extraordinary. So yeah, this is my little uh, visit um, on the, 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 the plant of vanilla in Reunion Island. And of course, I've taken some photos with my Canon. So, you know, I just thought that I should show you the background, the behind the history story of these photographs that I'm about to edit in Canon uh, Digital Professional 4 or Canon DPP4. I mean, yes, this is a video on editing photos on this software. But as you know, that is also important to understand the behind the story of all these images. I mean, maybe, just maybe, one out of many might be able to learn something different other than just technical part of this photography. Now, we have the first photo. All the images were taken with the faithful um, profile. But what I'm going to do um, in all of them, I'm going to uh, try most likely landscape because landscape will give a little bit more into green and red, uh, which I really love. It shows the beautiful color at the time. Uh, and my idea is that I'm going to edit the first image and more or less will use uh, the same recipe for the second one and the last one, not in between. The reason behind because the in the middle they are taken in uh, a different location, so of course not the same color. But the three images f um, matches the profile. And once it's done, the brightness looks pretty good. I could, you know, bump up the brightness just a little bit. And the gamma adjustment, I'm going to use auto and see what it gives me. It actually looks pretty awesome to me as well. And I'm going to check if anything is clipping here. Okay, shadow is clipping because it's totally normal. Now in this area, the bottom, I'm going to reduce just a little bit highlights and uh, sharpness looks very good color saturation maybe okay i'm gonna raise the saturation not much though i'm gonna leave it to zero not much color tone plus one so far so good we're in this section now moving on to the noise reduction well you know noise looks pretty good to me i mean noise quality looks pretty good <laughs> when i say noise and then the curves, I'm not going to do much in the curve section. Normally it's one of my favorite section. But in this case, it's probably already well exposed. Uh, the green, by the way, here in the color adjustment, I could actually uh, play with the green a little bit because this is like a documentary photography. We're not trying to do any kind of crazy editing here because this is a documentary. It should be as it is because I'm trying to tell you a story of a location of a product. So modifying it would be uh, almost limit unethical. So what I can do, I can reduce the luminosity instead which will uh, not make the some of the leaves look super white. You know what I mean? Uh, once done, then I'm going to go to the lens correction, see what it gives me. Uh, normally it's going to take some time. The lens data apparently is not available in this image. Probably because I've taken this image with my Sigma. 
So Sigma is not supported by Canon DPP, which is a shame. It would be awesome. And I'm going to do some crop because this area is useless. So I'm going to start from the top and uh, let's see. Looks pretty good to me. Then maybe right there and done. Now I'm gonna go to the first page at the very beginning. Copy the recipe. Let's see the selected recipe. Maybe just a copy recipe and then I'm going to paste recipe. And you know what? It actually looks good except that I have to maybe fine tune the the cropping area. Maybe it lives into the center rather than that. You know what? I'm actually quite surprisingly happy about it. If you're asking that maybe it looks a little bit too bright, hey, listen, I'm going to just use the gamma adjustment and beam back to normal. Maybe at the edge I have to do some border control. So I'm going to go back to that crop a little bit more and now it's nice and clean everywhere then the last one more or less the same thing I'm going to paste the recipe and <laughs> it's rotated the whole thing so I have to bring it back somewhere and uh, how I'm going to do that well I have no idea, believe it or not. Uh, I, normally somewhere here, I should have the root, ah, there you go, ah, speaking of that, found it. And now I'm going to go back to crop, make it free, and do a little bit of, no, not, not that I'm looking for, come on, this is bothering me. So free, now. There you go. Now you're talking. Ooh, took me forever to do something. So that's done. And moving on to the less correction. I don't believe that I'm going to have any kind of less correction here. So that's a shame. And I'm going to do a gamma adjustment. Raise the brightness just a touch. And that's it. Now we have two different images that is completely different than the rest. So before you've seen the real vanilla actual vanilla now you're looking at the process part of it so those are the final product and um, I'm gonna leave it to the faithful because it's already quite bright and what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, protect the shadow and the highlight if I possibly can let's see what the gamma adjustment gives me to be honest with you uh, I'm very curious to look at it looks pretty good in my eyes and then I'm going to crop just a little bit let's see right there because objective is to show you or show a magazine that hey this is how it's done you know what I mean so you know exactly okay I'm going to first of all make it free so easy to crop so those who are looking at this this thing knows that this is how it's been done as a part of the documentary. I'm going to rotate just a little bit because this looks like a little too low. I'm losing a part of it almost, which is fine, totally. And in the crop, maybe right there. Done. All right. Looks pretty good to me, right? Uh, now the final product, this is how it looks like. Probably I can do a auto gamma adjustment, which is also objective is to show you the final product, which means that you shouldn't be confused. So any kind of change should not be done dramatically, just a minimum. Luminosity, obviously, but that should be it. Again, I'm a big fan of square, so I'm gonna leave it to square. 
uh, I think I used a high ISO in this image so I'm going to go to my noise reduction and then click the reduce color more looks pretty good to me and that's pretty much it maybe just maybe I could just crop a little bit more and voila so there you go one two three four and five and this is how i did my uh documentary photo editing in canon dpp for canon cameras you know this kind of photography you don't need much of editing you need to make sure that composition is right you're telling the right story and you're showing the right color because you know this is not really a landscape it's more like a journalism style um photography which means that you kind of have to keep the original color as much as possible at the scene and that's the whole objective and it's, it's pretty easy to done as you can clearly see all right guys if you like this video you know go to the description and help me out any way you can and um, like and subscribe and i see you very soon look after yourself and bye bye